Hello team, today I am going to show you one general uh, SOP document for troubleshooting uh, disk space alert for especially for Microsoft SQL database administrator. What is mean by uh, SOP means here standard operating procedure. Once you became a DBA and there are like n number of uh, like junior database administrators and senior administrators uh, like uh, in under you. Okay, so if you don't have system or soap in your place in organization, everybody will do their own kind of troubleshooting and some might it some I mean to say some it might uh, lead to some mess configuration everything. So if you have any a general uh, project documents, soap documents in place, so uh, your work will look like organized. Okay, so, and so that there will be no mess. If anything updated will be there, you have to update uh, in the soap document once, uh, like uh, after approvals of the everything, type three or like manager, whoever in the in your uh, depends upon your organization. Here I am showing uh, like general SOP uh, troubleshooting document for disk space alert. So here like uh, general uh, what we need to do, uh, like uh, just some random information. So once it is learned, uh, we got this trace error. First, we need to know that is a dedicated drive for log files error. If it is a log file, you just mention these files so that you will get know what are the files that are listed. And you can see the DBCC uh, prefer log space to see the how much log space it has been occupied. After that, you can use this command like to show that why the log file uh, got filled the reason. So based on the reason, you uh, like act accordingly. For example, here the T logs, uh, the log file full got T due to two log backups or not scheduled and backup is failing disk space issues. So if you are failing that, you can use this command and uh, if log file is, then we need to take the backup or if, uh, like make sure that we need to uh, shrink the log file if the log shipping is enabled and so you, if you want to check the current database size and free space available and like this is the command so this is the syntax uh, this is the sample output of this file okay so once this is the one of the overview uh, this is how you need to start so apart from that okay if we have anything else like uh, this is not uh, not yet covered in this soap document like you need to send this if it is resolved upon verification the space was occupied so on so and we have after performance incorporation uh, we are able to release the space and uh, this is now currently we are out of threshold and if you are unable to resolve the space so like uh, and you need to some downtime and then you need to inform the uh, to the client to the via phone via email and like via teams like any medium is enough for you if for example if he is unable to uh, leave the call or unable to um, I mean unable to reach him over teams as well then we need to drop an email and like uh, after every half an hour or every 15 minutes we need to send an emails like anything anything update like we it's on and it's also depends upon the sensitivity of the client as well if the client is not sensitive and business down is not required so one time is enough it's all depends upon how the agreement upon you have done with your customer so so you have to prepare this kind of document so generally uh, like 30 minutes is enough for this uh, on working on this ticket if you have done any apart from existing tickets like I mean any apart from the troubleshooting uh, what listed on this document so then you can add add additional 30 more uh, decades or like 15 minutes okay so like this this is the one of the sample disk space alert uh, general SOP document for example, uh, sometimes uh, like whenever you do maintain integrity jobs, same amount of disk uh, space will be doubled. Once the maintenance jobs can be completed, the space will get released, right? So you have some few uh, use cases. So at that time, what you need to do, you need to mention those use cases in this document so that everybody will get an idea. Okay, what is the use case I met experience so and like uh, the same experience will not may not explain by other uh, DBA right. So if I mention those few few use cases in this document after uh, uh, discussing and everything with your client uh, uh, with your uh, like uh, type 3 manager and everything and if you mention that so that it will the document it will getting updated and so that every buddy will aware like of the, the new uh, like what is happening or the new use cases so 
so like you need to mention that use case one use case two like that an issue uh, like um, the troubleshooting steps what i have performed so, like that so i am going to provide see this is the sample document so you can uh, go through that and you can add your own uh, like um, you can add your own documents or you can add your own steps what you have perform and you can organize uh, you can edit as per your organization policies i hope uh, you may like this video and thank you bye